All right, so Gary in Minneapolis had a question about how he can work with his partner on moving into the net a little bit more and if there's some drills that you can do. And I'm going to show you four drills today that you can do with your partner that will give you incentive to move on into the net and also have a lot of fun. All right, so the first drill we do is just a great drill to work on transition shots. And in this drill, I'm going to start the point out against my partner over there. And the rule in this drill is both players have to move in. So as we're playing, you'll see us move on in. And if you step back at any time like this to hit a ball, you automatically lose the point. And the great part about this drill is that you're going to get a lot of shots in the midcourt right here. And we call these transition shots because with transition shots, you might get low volleys, you might get half volleys, you might get high volleys, you might get overhead, you get all sorts of balls here. You get kind of the same ball when you're close to the net and more of the same ball when you're back here. So in doubles, it's really this shot right here that really prevents a lot of people from coming to the net. This is the shot that scares everyone. If they get past this shot, then they're comfortable up there. And if they, you know, if, if not, they stay back at the baseline. So it's what you do with this shot is going to be an important one. So the drill looks like this. All right, zero, zero. So I'm going to hit it. She's, I have to go in. She has to hit and move on in. And we're going to go slow here so you can see it. All right, so it's one, zero. We back on up. Sometimes you can start another point right where you're at. All right, so it's one, zero. I'm going in. I take my split here. All right. All right, now it's one to one. We move on back. Now see, whoops, see, now you see how I stepped back there. If I step back there, I automatically lose the point. So the goal is to keep trying to move forward. And what this is going to do for you, it's going to force you to hit some of those nasty transition shots. One to two. All right, two, two. And we'll say this is for king or queen of the universe here. Two, two, this is it, Lisa, right here. Now she just backed up right there. She did, so I win the point. But let's say she didn't back up. We'll do one more here. It's two, two. There's my half volley right there I had to hit. So you get force hitting a lot of those types of shots. All right, now in this next drill, in one of my game changers, we said, if you subscribe to the Real Tennis Network, we said that one of the golden rules of doubles was always making your first two shots. But we also said that another rule is the team that gets to the net first wins a much higher percentage of the points. So in this drill, we're going to work on both. What I'm going to do is we're going to play out this point just one on one and cross court only. And the server has to serve in volley. So I've got to serve and go to the net and play out the point. Now, if I get my serve in and I make my next shot or my first volley, I automatically get a point for doing that. And then whoever wins the point gets a point. So the receiver can only win one point at a time. So if I get my serve in, I come on up and I, lose, I hit my first ball in, and then I lose the point. So I made my first two shots and then my opponent won, it would be one to one. If I got my serve in, I made my next shot, and I won the point, I would get two points for that. All right, if I miss my serve or double fault, the receiver automatically gets one for that. Or if I get my serve in and I miss my next shot, then the receiver would just get one for that. But the goal here is, number one, to get to the net, and number two is to get your first two shots in. It looks like this. All right. I made my first two shots, so I got a point there. And I won the point, so the score would be two to zero. All right, coach, here we go. Good job, that's another half volley for me right there. All right, now that was out, so it was two to zero. I made my first two shots, so I get a point for that. So it's three zip, but she won the point, so it's three to one. We both got a point right there. So I'm gonna show you the different kinds of combinations there. Three to one. Ugh. Great return, I missed that ball. So I don't get anything, but the returner gets one, so it's three to two. So really, the mindset of the returner here is very important. When you're playing against a serve and volley team, 
you're not going to concentrate on keeping your returns deep. Obviously, you're going to concentrate on getting your returns to land somewhere around the service line here, making it difficult for me to volley. Very important that the returner gives me a tough ball because that's the only way they can win a point is by hitting a good return and me not getting it back to where they win one and I don't. So it's going to be very difficult for the returner. What's the score there, coach? Three to two. Okay. We'll play to five here. And we can do this too, Gary, on the, on the ad side as well. All right. So I got my serve in. She didn't get the return back. So it's four to two. Another half volley. All right, I'm gonna touch over there. Then finally one down the middle. So that's five to three, so we both want a point. And there's some variations to this drill as well. Number one, a great variation to this drill is you can say, if you get your first serve in, then you will still get that bonus point for making your second shot. But if you miss your first serve and you have to serve a second serve, you don't get a chance to get that bonus point anymore. So the most you can win is just one point. So that's going to give you the incentive to get your first serve in, which is very, very important in doubles. OK, I'm just trying to think of the third drill here. All right, for the third drill, and this is a little bit more tricky for the server, but again, it's one of my favorite drills to do with just a partner. And what I'm going to do with my partner over here, and again, you can do these on both sides, not just the deuce side. I usually do it on the side that my student returns serve on and doubles, because that's the side they want to work on the most. So in this drill, I'm going to play out three points against my partner over there. And whoever wins two out of three of these is going to win one point. So you're trying to win two out of three of the points we're going to play here to earn one point. And if somebody wins all three, they get two points. And the three points are going to consist of this. It's going to be more of a second serve. So I'm going to serve a second serve, and I'm going to come into the net. And my partner is going to be receiving a second serve, which gives her the green light to come on in. So she's going to come on in as well. We're going to play out that point. As soon as that point's over, I'll pull the next ball out of my pocket, and we'll play out a volley point. And then as soon as that point's over, I'll pull the last ball out of my pocket, give her an overhead. Usually she has to be inside the service box, and we'll play out that point and see who can win two out of three. It looks like this. All right, that's one for me. So you got to come on up. So I've got one so far. All right, now she won that point. So it's one point apiece. No one's won a point for real though yet. Whoever wins this point gets two out of three and wins the point. So it looks like this. I'm going to back up and take my split. She got me right there. So the score is zero to one. She won two out of three points. So the score is zero one. All right, so we do it again. All right, that's one for her. All right, that's one for me. So this is for the point right here. Oh, come on, make that. All right, so I won two out of three that time. So now the score is one to one. So every point is important in this drill because if someone wins two, you want to win that last so they don't get two points. And if, someone, if it's one to one, you want to win the last so you can get one point. All right, that's one for me. That's one for her. And that was out. So it's no, it was it was wide there. It's got to be cr cross court. So now the score is one to two. Play a couple more points out here. I'm trying to give you every situation here. That was one of the same ones though. All right, that's one for me. All right, that's two for me. So now if I win this point, I get two points. If she wins this point, I only get one. All right, so I did that on purpose, so I would win the three. So I win the three points right there, so I get a total of two. So it was one to two. Was that the score? So now the score is three to two. And we'll play one last point out here. 
just to give my partner a chance here. All right, three to two. All right, right on the line. That's one for her. That's one for me. So it's either going to be three to three after this is over or four to two. Oh, well, Mick. All right, so the score is three to three. Okay, so you can see Gary where again, what we're trying to do here is do a lot of different situations, not only just coming to the net, but serving and volleying in a volley situation and then more of a defensive situation. So both players are going to get a chance in this drill to move on in. Now the next drill I'm going to show you is one you can do with four players on the court or you could split it in half and do it with your partner and it's called the go drill. Okay, Gary, in this drill right here, this is called the go drill. Now, in the go drill, we have two teams back at the baseline, and you could do this as well on half a court if it was just you and your partner. But the goal of this drill is to try to keep the ball deep, but as soon as a team hits a ball that lands short, let's say the team across the net over there hits a ball and it lands short here inside the service box, that gives this team the green light to be able to go to the net and finish the point up there. And whoever gets the short ball is going to say go, go, go to their partner so they're communicating, which is very important in doubles. Now, if they win the point and both of them have both feet in the service box, they get two points. Otherwise, they just get one point. So it looks like this. So it's 0-0. Zero, zero. You can't come in off the feet either, guys. That's right. All right, so they can come in. That's short now. They can come on in. All right. And I don't know if, the, if Harry had both feet in the box, but let's say he did, so the score would be zero to two. All right, we'll play about four points out here. Zero, two. Trying to keep the ball past the service line. Very good. All right, All right so now it's one to two. Thank you. Nice job keeping it deep. That's still deep, so they gotta respect that. Nice job, you guys. Go, 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 go. Very nice. So what this drill does, all right, let's do one more point, you guys. And what this drill does, the score is 2-2 two, two now, or no, it's 3-2, because you got two for that, right? 3-2. What this drill does is it really gets you to be aware of the ball you're receiving and looking for the opportunities to come in the net and finish the point out. Okay, 3-2. We'll play to five, you guys. We'll play to five. Remember, you can't come in off the feed either. You got to stay back on the feed. All right, that was out. So it's three to three. Go ahead and grab a couple balls. You can start one too. It doesn't matter who starts the point here. Three to three. Go, 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 go. All right, and they're both in the box, so that would be five to three. So that's called the go drill. Very simple drill. It's a great warm-up drill if you're just going out there with your friends to play doubles. We use this drill a lot when we're warming up for a doubles class or any other class. Great job, you guys. Thanks a lot. So Gary, I hope these drills here will give you an idea or just give you some ideas on what you can do with your partner to give you guys more incentive to come to the net, but at the same time, have a little bit of fun.